Hello guys, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful country of Albania here in Europe and I'm visiting the very historic city of Girokaster in southern Albania. In this particular video we're going to visit the very historic fort of Girokaster one of the most beautifully preserved and historic sites here in Albania. We have so much to see and so much to learn and so much to enjoy, especially the views of the beautiful down of Girokaster below. This is Vic. Let's go for a walk. Let's do it. Okay, I paid uh, for my ticket. It costs two euros to come inside this magnificent fort here in Girokaster in Albania. And as soon as we enter, we see how magnificent the fort is all around. Look at the beautiful arches. There's one way of going here. And then there's another way. We're looking for the clock tower, which is in one of the corners of the fort. Let's go this way. We're gonna pass this magnificent hole here with cannons on both sides displayed. Okay, I'm now outside walking around the fort and here we find a huge complex of buildings. That's where the entrance is, somewhere in a lower level of these buildings. But from here, I want to show you a magnificent view of the beautiful town of Girokaster here in Albania. It is famous not just for the fort, but also for the architecture of its Ottoman buildings that date from the early 19th century. That's the bazaar area right there. We're going to videotape that later on. And that's the newer part of the town. That's where the highway is that links Girokaster to Tirana. What a beautiful view from here. Now here we find a collection of cannons and we find a very strange aircraft. The Albanians claim that this was a spy plane from the U.S. that was shot down in the 1950s. And they keep it here on display. Now, I have never heard of such an event in my 40 or so years in the U.S. But anyway, that's the claim by the Albanians. You see the plane right there. Now, let's walk this way and let's go towards the clock tower. Here's the last view of the spy American plane. Come on. Okay, I'm uh, right now at the southern tip of this magnificent fort here in Girokaster in Albania. I'm actually standing on the last southern defensive tower of the fort right here. Here's a view of the valley below. Now you can get an idea why the castle or the fort was built here, was defending this vast valley below. That's the beautiful clock tower that you see right there. That's a later addition to the fort. It did not exist during the Ottoman times. 
you get beautiful views from here on a sunny day. It is windy, very windy actually. The fort excavations have proved existed since the third century before Christ. I don't have to tell you that the Greeks were here first, established a very small fort, and it was not until the sixth century the Byzantines arrived here, sixth century after Christ, and built a massive fort to control the area below. The fort existed for quite a few centuries under the Byzantines. Ioannis Cantacuzinos, John Cantacuzinos, one of the emperors, the Byzantine emperors, mentions the fort in the 13th century. In the 15th century, when the Ottomans took over large parts of Albania, they took over the fort. And what we see here today is mainly the Ottoman remains of the fort. The Ottomans were absolute masters at architecture, amongst other things. And I never miss an opportunity to visit an Ottoman fort. Here's a very good example of one of the best in Europe. And uh, just north, of the clock tower, we find the ruins of a complex of a mosque and a building behind it. This was the mosque, only three of the walls survive. This was the fountain of the mosque. And if we walk around, we find another building associated and attached to the mosque. Only two of the walls survive over here. Let's go up to the top. We get a beautiful view of the clock tower from here and of the city of Kirokaster right down there. Now just north of the clock tower there's a flat area here and right there, about 50 meters away, we can see a stage where they hold cultural events during the summers. So if you're lucky enough to visit Girokaster and the fort during one of these cultural events, make sure you come up here and enjoy it. Now let's walk towards the northern part of the fort Let's explore some more areas of this vast historic site here in Girokastre in Albania. And uh, there are several areas here in the fort where you can climb up the steps as long as it is safe, of course. So you can get beautiful views of the area of the fort around you. Beautiful. I'm now walking towards the northern tip of the fort and here we find quite a few vaulted spaces. These used to be the workshops of the fort. Let's go in one of those. You can see it's very large, very long, about 20 meters, and very high, about 6 meters in height. This is where the specialists of the fort will work on leather, different arms and ammunition, metal and other specialties. 
there's quite a few of these shops here. Now directly in front of me is the great hallway that we passed in the very beginning with the cannons and the artillery pieces. I just passed it and I'm headed towards a northern direction. Look at the beautiful architecture here. But if I take the steps to my left here, climb up to the top. I pass a very small garden. And here there's a small building. With the tombs of two very important Ottoman leaders, as you can see, unfortunately, there's no sign. Let's do not go inside out of respect. Let's turn around. And let's go back to the top towards the northern direction. And uh, here is a beautiful view of a small part of the eastern walls of the fort. You can see how massive they are. And look at the tower over there. It's about 24 meters in height. Very, very impressive indeed. And uh, here is another beautiful view of the fort. Unfortunately, mostly everything is closed with gates and fences, as you can see here. Well, the bad news is that uh, the northern half of the fort is closed to the tourists. Apparently, they are reconstructing the top half. So we're limited to visiting the fort, the southern half of the fort. So let's walk this way, let's get more views of whatever is open. Carefully, make sure we don't fall. Well, this is Vic. Thank you for joining me my channel. I hope you enjoyed the views of the fort of Girokaster here in Albania. Unfortunately, almost everybody that comes up here is surprised that the other half is closed. It is time now to go visit the beautiful bazaar here in this fascinating city in southern Albania. Here's another view of the fort and of the surrounding area. This is Vic. If you liked what you saw, Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.